You can use the pulse voltage source to set up a square wave like signal, or you can use it to set up a step function. You'll need the virtual components toolbar visible, and if it's not already visible, simply right click up here and select virtual. Look under the sources, and we have the pulse voltage source right here. You'll notice it has the distinctive square wave like pattern embedded in the symbol. I'm going to go ahead and place a ground and a two channel oscilloscope so we can observe the output of this uh, voltage generator. All right, let's see what we have. Let me adjust the uh, channel volts per division and I'll also adjust the time base scale. And so we see with the default settings we have one volt for the maximum value and minus one volt for the minimum value. We have a 0.5 millisecond time that it's high and then the total period is one millisecond. Again, you can adjust the initial value, the pulse value, the amount of time you wait until the pulsing starts. You can adjust the rise and fall time, the overall pulse width, and the period of the waveform. So for example, I can change the initial value and the pulsed value. And I'm also going to demonstrate the use of the delay time feature. Go ahead and set the pulse width. And notice that I'm using a pulse width, pulse width is considerably longer than the period at this point. And that's where you can generate a step-like function. So you see the single transition and then it stays high for uh, a long time.